For today, it's probably more um, information gathering for, for myself, more along the, um, the senior list and the status uh, of those boys coming back in terms of, as I say, programming for the next two and a half weeks and, and how quickly we can ramp up into, into full-scale football, full football intensity and, um, and match simulation. Probably gone in the days where the, the flat number that they get is, is to be on end all. I can understand um, the anxiousness around it. It is a test, it's, it's, the boys are throwing themselves in the deep end, it's for all to see, you know, players, coaches, admin staff, there's, there's media around, so, I mean, you still have Steel Sidebottom, who's a gone runner that, um, you know, he gets really anxious, he says even before games he would never feel this level of anxiety, so, I really get excited for pre-season, um, just to see which boys stand up and push themselves further, and uh, hopefully we'll have a good showing from the young boys that might, might take them to town on that day. First night in last night. Yeah, it's great to be home to be honest. Jump in and hold on. So whenever we have a game, either interstate or just over at the G, Wayno packs up the big truck with all our all our gear we need for for the game. And um, I'm currently borrowing it. Oh, I'm moving into my old and new home. So you're lucky enough to be riding in, in Disco's truck. So last night was the worst night on the calendar. Um, obviously, yeah, the 2K today, I don't know why. It's gonna be my 12th season this year, but for whatever reason, I don't sleep real well. Last night, I play how today's gonna work out through my head all night. Wake up early, can't go back to sleep, but um, it happens every year, as soon as today's over, it's like, why have I, why have I played it up to be as bad as it is? Because nothing's really ever gone wrong. So, you know, the place at the moment is somewhere where I, I love coming, coming into every day. So, I don't know, it's just something that's it's in me. And I'm, I'm definitely not the only one. I know a lot of the guys are, you know, are pretty similar. But, um, yeah, I think the coaches and, and everyone at the club have made the environment um, the total opposite of that, so you've got to get this day out of the way, and here we are, we're on the way. Hey, you going, mate? Can I just get a uh, cheeseburger meal, thanks? <laughs> oh, you going to sit in the car, or...? Here we go, eh? 220. So we'll go out today, do our 2 k we'll fast start into that, and, and we always find, we find out you know, where guys are at, and all you can do is run your best, it's feedback. Some guys will run PB, some guys will drop right, will be off it. We're not comparing ourselves to anyone else. We want to find out how good we can be. The first and foremost, we've already started in the first two weeks. Now the whole crew gets to jump in on it. You know, we, we'll, know, we'll know exactly where we stand every moment of every day. We can support and love and care for each other through that and fucking prepare ourselves for, for taking those opportunities when they come next. Fair enough? Right, let's go and enjoy today. Alright boys, listen up, listen up. Yeah, so I just call out the bakers <laughs> and the two on the group. So we'll bake, uh, we'll be Jimmy, Crispy, Diggs, Levi, Langers, Reedy and Trelaw. So if you, just, if you just make your way up to the altitude room, Dino and uh, Ad, take it through that. Watch your side. Uh, Shibble, take a 200. So it'll be Tim, Apples, Atu, Cal Brown, Donny, Marky, Rosie, Mini, Noel, and Q. So back, so and fine, Shibble. And I'll take the rest of you boys in for 2K. <laughs> it's something that usually 
you think a lot about before it and then it's over and done with and then um, yeah it's onto the footy but it's it's it can probably get a bit stressful yeah <laughs> you know what we enjoyed we enjoyed the, we enjoyed the five minute chat yeah. <laughs> we enjoyed the five minute chat in the locker room at 2k <laughs> every year there's, there's every year there's a chat so. it goes for five minutes and that's it. That's it for another year. I saw, you know, who we picked up in the in the draft, and um, you know, he's a he's a fit fit guy and, and an athlete. So it's good to see. And yeah, I think, you know, in a way, it's it's good. Pushes me, um, and you know, gives me something to to chase after now, and you know, keep that hunger. <laughs> Hey, so boys, listen up, listen up. The start to the green cone. So we've got four laps. You finish off at that red cone. So on the fourth lap, the final time we'll be going through that red cone. When you go through, find Brando. He's got a clipboard. Give your time to Brando. So remember your time as you go through the red cone. All right. You ready, boys? Three, two. One, let's go. Tom Phillips has won the last four 2K time trials at Collingwood, but his reign is over. In a great first impression at his new club, Jay Rantel has taken the mantle just four days after being taken a pick 40 by the Pies. It's funny, I got a bit of a taste of my own medicine this year. At about the point post, I decided to try and um, overtake, and I tried to overtake twice and got up sort of level and, and um, nearly pushed in front, but. Um, yeah, he pushed out a little bit more every time, so I and mean, then I just uh, didn't quite have it in me from those off-season off -season legs that I still sort of have. So I think uh, maybe next time I'll either go a little bit earlier, maybe at the start of the last lap, or, or a little bit later. I think uh, it was I, I, I pushed too much um, for a sprint in, in that middle bit, uh, which I probably didn't have enough gas to, to get through, but it was a good race, it was, it was good. Yeah, for Jay, everyone getting around him, that was really good. And I think that's, everyone just wants to feel that support. You know, I got the same treatment um, from Steele and, and everyone, and that's just what it is. You know, you want to remember your first day, you, you know, and relationships and, um, you know, the connections that we make as teammates and as a football club is really important. You see the guys after, you know, embracing each other and everyone getting around each other. Everyone's doing it together. Like there's no one um, sitting out, and, and the guys that do it together tend to embrace each other even more. So, it just strengthens the group really well, and it'll be good to see that into into 2020 as well.